Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is the 4th of July and we are spending it at home, just the three of us. Howard grilled out for us, so we had some, or he grilled out some burgers. I had these four hamburger patties in my freezer. I picked them up on clearance from Kroger a while back ago, threw them in my freezer, but they are um, jalapeno and pepper jack burgers. And then we are also having some hot links, so let me show you that packaging, here it is. Um, he grilled out some hot links, and then he also grilled out some corn on the cob. Mine has some black pepper and salt and butter, and his has um, salt and butter on that as well. We have a bunch of chips around the house that we're going to add to the meal, but this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having this flatbread from Trader Joe's. Howard and I really like it a lot. And it has ham, caramelized onion, and um, Swiss cheese. And I cooked it on my pizza stone in the oven, and here it is. It's a pretty small flatbread. Um, definitely, if you're having this for dinner, you're gonna need to have something else with it. So we're gonna cut this pizza or flatbread in half and have some wings with it. Finishing up these wings that were in my freezer. Howard and I really like this brand, Foster Farms. I get these huge bags from Costco. So he really likes the sweet, sweet Chipotle barbecue and I prefer the Korean style wings. But this is what they look like. I cooked them in the air fryer. They're already fully cooked and they're crunchy already, but they are so good. My favorite frozen wing. And of course that was Harrison in the background. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having orzo pasta with spinach and Parmesan. I actually made this for the first time a couple of weeks ago and we liked it so much that I made it again. And so I will link that video in the description box. It's a really quick and easy skillet meal, just orzo, fresh spinach, um, chicken bouillon and garlic, I think. And it is so good. And I'm not at all a big spinach person, but I like this too. Um, and so we have enough left for another meal for leftovers. With it, I am serving it with garlic toast. And this is not the garlic bread that I normally use. I really like the one from Tom Thumb, but I saw this one. Um, it is from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. So I wanted to give it a try, see if it's any good. So this is it. This is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard went to our favorite Italian restaurant and picked up some carry out for us. So it comes with two house salads and this is the best salad dressing. It is so good. So we've got two salads with our entrees. This is Howard's entree. He got um, pesto chicken. And then I got lasagna with meat sauce. And then it comes with some bread and the bread is so good. And then I also really like their Italian wedding soup. And so here is their Italian wedding soup. The first place I actually ever had Italian wedding soup was this place and it spoiled me. It is so good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making smothered chicken. So I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box. I am loosely following this recipe by iHeart Recipes. So I've got five chicken thighs in here that I have seasoned. And then I also have some seasoned flour in here as well. For both of them, I use smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, um, some white pepper, and a little bit of seasoned salt. So this is what I also have in the flour and then I have my skillet um, warmed up over here with some oil in it and it's at a medium high heat. So I'm just going to dredge this and um, then I'm going to put it in the skillet and I want to get it browned on both sides. So it's not going to be cooked. I'm not worried about that. It's just going to get browned. Okay. 
Okay, so I just removed the chicken from the pan and it's brown, not done at all. As you can see, you're just supposed to brown it. And I added my onions into this very same pan and I'm using frozen onions because that's what I have on hand. And so I'm just supposed to let this saute for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to remove the onions and then start my roux. Okay guys, so I added in my flour and now it's time to add in my chicken broth. Just a little at a time and whisking it to make sure I don't get any lumps. And once I get all of the chicken broth added, I'm just gonna let this cook for about two minutes to get rid of some of that flour. All right guys, so this is my chicken broth and I added whole milk to it and it's simmering as you can see. I'm just gonna add in my chicken pieces and my onions. I'm gonna add them back in. All right, I'm just gonna cover this up and let it simmer for about 45 minutes or until it's done. Okay, so here is the smothered chicken. I sprinkled a little bit of fresh parsley on top, so that's what you're seeing there. But I ended up um, cooking this for about 50 minutes and it is so tender. And so I am serving this with mashed potatoes. This is actually Howard's plate. I didn't make my own mashed potatoes because I had these in the freezer from Ikea and I tried them, they're okay. I just wanted to give them a try because I do like Ikea food. Next time I would probably probably just make my own mashed potatoes. So this is Howard's plate and I also just made some canned green beans, seasoned it with some onion and bacon fat and seasoned salt. And then this is my plate, same thing of course, but I'm a rice person so I'm serving mine over rice. And then for dessert, I made peach dumplings. I have made these several times before, and I actually have a video on our channel, so I will make sure to link that in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.